Hey there, my name is Alexandria Carver. I just wanted to give a quick little intro about myself. Um, I'm an elementary education major, and me and my husband and my daughter live in Rexburg, Idaho. Um, we're both in school full-time with a nine-month-old baby, so things can get a little crazy. Um, I'm loving school, I'm loving my classes, and I'm really glad I chose elementary ahead as my career. Um, for my educational giant report, I chose to do it on Thomas Gallaudet. And the more I read about him, the happier I was that I chose him. He really was an awesome guy and made a, made a huge impact on America. Um, so he was born um, in December of 1787 in Philadelphia. Um, he was super smart. He started school at Yale at the age of 14. Um, and he graduated three years later and began to work as a law assistant um, and a tutor. He did you know, independent study. Um, he then started doing door-to-door -door sales and I mean just from the beginning you can see how much he cared about other kids. Um, some families they didn't have a lot of money and they couldn't buy all their kids something so only one they could only buy one thing for all their kids to share and Thomas he really made an effort to give these children something that you know would just make them happy and shed a little bit of light in their life. Um, in 1808 he decided to go back to school as a graduate student um, and he graduated a couple years later. In 1812 he decided to enter a theological seminary. He was really passionate about his faith and when he graduated a couple years later they offered him a job as a minister but he didn't take it because he had some health problems so he decided to be a traveling minister um, and he um, he just kind of went wherever he was needed. Um, while while he was visiting his family, um, he met the daughter of Dr. Mason Cogswell. Her name was Alice, um, and Alice was deaf and she was mute as a result of that. Uh, at the age of two, Alice um, lost her hearing due to spotted fever, and um, Thomas Gallaudet he took interest into her really quickly. He began learning about the deaf and trying to figure out a way to teach her and help her. Um, he learned that there was a school in Europe for deaf children and he approached Alice's parents about it and Alice's family wasn't really too excited about her going to another country so they proposed a plan of them opening a school in America for the deaf and that Thomas should be the principal of it. Um, so he went to Europe and he went to the school and saw the teaching methods and learned how he could, you know, help these kids in America who were deaf. Um, and while he was in Europe, he met Laurent Clerc, um, who ended up coming back to America with him to help him in the school. In April of 1817, they opened the first school for the deaf in Hartford, Connecticut. Um, he served as a principal from the time it opened in 1817 to 1830. When he resigned, he took two jobs as a minister, um, one for a local jail and then at a retreat center for um, mentally insane people. And although he left the school, he was still a major advocate um, for teaching the deaf. Um, and Thomas, he ended up marrying one of his students, Sophia Fowler. Um, in August of 1812 and you know he was super busy but he was a devoted husband and father they had eight children um, and he ended up passing away in September of 1851 due to um, lung disease which he had suffered from from a young age and so Thomas Gallaudet his major contribution was um, starting the first school for the deaf in America um, and this school was extremely successful. The president of the United States came to the school and saw the progress and how successful it was and he started that started um, government funding for the school and they granted them this you know large lot in this big building to help their school grow. Um, the first class only um, had eight students by the end of the year, they had 30. Um, so you can just, you know, see how successful it was. Um, and, you know, because it was so successful, 
um, you know, it allowed, like, people didn't know that deaf kids could learn. They didn't know what caused them being deaf. They didn't know that they weren't, um, that it was just a physical disability versus a mental disability. So because Thomas made this discovery, he opened up this huge window for, you know, progression in helping these students learn and have a place where they can feel accepted. Um, and, you know, as, as he showed that you can be open-minded and if you take advantage of the right opportunities, you can accomplish anything. I mean, he started from nothing. I mean, he met a young girl and he um, was interested and he cared about her. And that's what we need to do as teachers is, you know, care about our students and try and find ways to help them. And that's what he did. Um, he has is, he is set a very big um, example to follow for us as teachers. Um, you know, all children deserve an education, whether they have physical, mental disabilities or whether they're normal or, um, I mean, everyone deserves an education no matter what. And without Thomas Gallaudet, those students would be, they wouldn't be educated and they would be considered an outcast. And so for him to open that up for them and help people recognize that all students deserve an education was crucial for America, I think. I mean, you know, now we, he helped, um, you know, create American Sign Language, and that is used everywhere now. I mean, they have it at major events. Um, it's well known around the world, and people use it every day. And so that was a major contribution also. Um, and, you know, even though the deaf community isn't necessarily prominent in my life, um, I can still connect with this work and this contribution. And um, my youngest sister has mental disabilities. And um, I think Thomas Gallaudet, he opened the door to help all children with disabilities earn an education. And now she gets to go to school and um, she has friends and she has teachers and she gets to feel normal. And without him, I don't think it would have evolved as quickly. Uh, I'm sure it would have happened eventually, but it happened at an early stage in America, and I think that's crucial, and I'm so glad that I chose to do him. Um, he was an amazing guy, and he cared about everyone, and I think we can learn a lot from him as um, future educators. And so that's my report. I hope you guys learned a little bit and um, enjoyed learning about him. And I would encourage you all to do a little bit of research on your own and just kind of check him out because... What he did was really amazing. And so thanks for watching.